Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tayyabaz Science Center. So today I am going to discuss MCQs on amino acids, peptides and proteins. And uh, do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification for all our upcoming videos. So let's begin with the topic. Our first question is the functional group present commonly in amino acids are OH group, COOH group, NH2 group and both B and C. So the functional groups which are commonly present in amino acids are carboxylic group and NH2 group which is known as amino group. So our correct option will be option number D, both B and C. Next question. The amino acids found in protein are alpha amino acids, beta amino acids, gamma amino acids or delta amino acids. So the functional group which are commonly uh, present in protein is alpha amino acid and the structure of alpha amino acid is something like this. This is COOH group and this is NH2 group directly attached uh, to the same carbon atom with uh, through which the carboxylic group is attached. So this will be alpha carbon. So that's why uh, this amino acid is known as alpha amino acid. And if there would be one more CH2 here, and then it would have become beta. So uh, then we call it as beta amino acid. So the normally amino acids which are present in protein are alpha amino acids. So our correct option for this question would be A. Next question. Which one of them is optically inactive amino acid? Phenylalanine, methionine, glycine and valine. So the amino acid which is optically inactive is glycine and uh, optically inactive amino acids are those amino acids which have uh, two similar group attached to the same carbon like this. They are attached COOH group. And here is NH2. So here two groups are same. This hydrogen and this hydrogen. They both are same and they are attached to the same carbon atom. So this is optically inactive. And uh, in those amino acids uh, which have four different group attached to the same carbon atom, uh, the carbon become chiral carbon and they are optically active. So correct option for uh, this question would be option number C. Next question, which one of them is an essential amino acid, glycine, alanine, serine and tryptophan? So our correct option is option number D which is tryptophan. Next question, which one of them is a non-essential amino acids, phenylalanine, alanine, serine, both B and C. So our correct option will be option number D both B and C because alanine and serine both are non-essential amino acids. Next question, which amino acid is basic in nature? Glycine, valine, lysine and aspartic acid. So the correct uh, answer of this question is option number C, lysine. Next question, amino acids react with acid like HCl to form ester, ether, salt, both A and C. So the correct answer of this question is option number C which is salt. Next question. Reaction of amino acid with formaldehyde in alkali medium is known as Strecker synthesis, Sanger's reaction, Sorensen titration, none of these. So the correct uh, answer is Sorensen titration. Next is a tripeptide contains how many amino acids? So for uh, three peptide bonds, we need four amino acids. So the correct option will be option number D, four. Next question, which element is present in highest amount in protein? Carbon, oxygen, hydrogen and nitrogen. So our correct option is option number A, which is carbon. Next question, protein plus NaOH plus copper sulfate gives violet color. This test is known as Mellon's test, biurate test, Hopkins test or ninhydrin test. So the correct option is option number B, biurate test. Next, biurate test is given by proteins having one peptide linkage, two peptide linkage, 
3 or more peptide linkage both B and C. So our correct option is option number D both B and C. All the amino acids which have two or more than two peptide linkage will give this test. Next question. Protein plus concentrated HNO3 gives yellow color. This test is known as Mellon's test, xanthoprotic test, Hopkins test or Nenhydrin test. So the correct option is option number B xanthoprotic test and this test is normally shown by those amino acids which have aromatic ring benzene ring in their structure next secondary structure of protein has peptide linkage hydrogen bonding sulfide linkage both a and b so the correct answer is d both a and b next the native conformation of protein is primary structure secondary structure tertiary structure or quaternary structure so the correct answer is tertiary structure because protein in a normal uh, pH or normal temperature exists in tertiary structure form next question denaturation does not alter primary structure of protein secondary structure of protein tertiary structure of protein or quaternary structure of protein so the correct answer is option number a primary structure of protein Next, denaturation is usually reversible, irreversible, both or none. So the correct answer is option number B, irreversible. In alpha helix structure of protein, hydrogen bonding occurs between CO group of one amino acid and NH of the fourth amino acid of different chain. CO of one amino acid and NH of the second amino acid of different chain. CO group of one amino acid and NH of the fourth amino acid of the same chain or CO group of one amino acid and NH of the fourth amino acid of same chain. So this option number C and D is same. So uh, the correct answer is basically for this question is option number C which is uh, in alpha helix structure hydrogen bonding occurs between CO group of one amino acid and NH of the fourth amino acid of same chain. Next question. Which amino acids contain sulfur, methionine and serine, methionine and cysteine, cysteine and serine or cysteine and glycine? So the correct answer of this question is B, methionine and cysteine. Next. Keratin protein is fibrous protein soluble in water, fibrous protein insoluble in water, globular protein soluble in water or globular protein insoluble in water. So keratin protein is a protein present in our hair and it is a kind of fibrous protein which is insoluble in water. So uh, the correct answer of this question is option number B. Uh, that's all for today. Do like, subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.